OK, so to do a problem like this, again, ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is just kind of rewrite this. And in simplified form, we're just going to be taking the square root of, and then we're going to be taking the negative. So since we're our, our square root is already given, we're just going to make sure we find our, our positive value with this. So I'll have square root. Square root of 10, or 100, is going to be <clears throat> 10. The square root of p to the 4, actually, let's write this like this. Let's split it up. Square root of p to the 4th and the square root of t squared. Well, the square root of 100 is 10. Square root of p to the 4th. I can rewrite that as the square root of p squared squared, right? Square root p squared is just going to let me leave them with p squared. Here, my square roots are going to undo each other, so I'm just left with t. So my final answer is negative 10 p squared t. Stop.